Hi guys, as you can see, I'm back home. I finally got my phone back. So I'm back to my editing filming grind. This is a very painfully, painfully realistic couple weeks in my life in London. As I was editing it, I realized first month, I did not really film much for YouTube. This is about like three weeks in a little compilation of a video. A lot of the times that I filmed are clips that helped me get through some really mentally struggle bus moments in my first weeks being abroad, which I knew it was gonna happen. So I told myself that I would film whenever I felt not the greatest and it helped me a lot. So I really did want to share this because it was just so helpful That's basically what this vlog is about just kind of a compilation of how I was feeling what I was doing <laughs> But again, just keep in mind. This is a very painfully realistic week in my life or I don't even know what it I don't even know what I titled this video because I'm a little confused as to how I'm gonna title it But this was very painfully realistic. Okay, if you were looking for a video that was romanticizing my time abroad This is not the video to watch, but I hope that it's exciting still <sighs> I'm so upset at myself that I couldn't get a video up this past week, but my laptop was really freaking out and I don't know what I was doing, but it was just making it so difficult for me and I could not get a video out. So I'm so sorry about that. I'm really pushing myself to post two this week. So we'll see, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can post two this week, but yeah. Anyway, let's carry on with the video. I hope you enjoy. Good morning guys. I quite literally cried myself to sleep last night. <laughs> It is literally just the second day. It's currently like 6 a.m. You guys are gonna come with me to get a hairbrush and some shampoo and conditioner. The issue is that I did not bring a going to the grocery store kind of outfit. <laughs> like I don't have a t-shirt because I was like, oh, I'm not gonna need it. Okay, this is the fit. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm back from the grocery store. Let me just explain to you what just happened because I don't know, maybe this is just kind of normal stuff, but I feel like this is a really fun part of being abroad and just like meeting new people. I went to the grocery store and I saw this girl that I had met yesterday and I was like, oh my gosh, hi. At the grocery store, she's like, oh, hi. And so we just like walked around the grocery store together. Turns out she's literally right next to us. Like there's two different flats here in this section and she's in the other one. And we were, me and my roommates yesterday were wondering who was living in the other one. And it's literally a group of IES people so that's really cool just like something that happened this morning that would have I would have never experienced if I didn't wake up and go to the grocery store um anyway I got shampoo and conditioner and then I got myself a croissant for breakfast and then I needed trash bags got a hair run busting croissant <laughs> Rise and shine, everybody. I got four hours of sleep last night. Um, I'm only up by the will of my adrenaline of being in London, I think. So we'll see how this, this goes today. I'm going to go get a glass of water. <laughs> Lukewarm water. I'm gonna put one in the fridge so that when I want more water later, it's gonna be cold. <laughs> I'm already feeling the crash. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like I'm already. I'm gonna be on this walking tour like a zombie. My tummy hurts. I just asked a random stranger to take photos of me for a brand. I don't really know if they turned out right or not, but I did it and I just think that was scaring me. Hi guys! I'm in shortage right now because I wanted to do a trial run before my internship starts Tuesday. And turns out that my internship is literally in the area that I found out about yesterday that I kept telling everybody that I love. And it's just so funny that it worked out like that. I went to go get boba after because, I don't know, I'm feeling really good vibes right now. I'm feeling very um, positive vibes. I love it. I don't know. Whenever that happens, 
and I'm by myself, I like to give myself like a little treat, like a little drinkity drink. So I went to this place called Bo Bobar and I passed it up and I was not gonna go, but I was like, you know what? Screw it, let's go. So I went and I got myself a icy lychee yakult with tapioca pearls and lychee jelly. And it's so good, so delicious. But I just ordered that. And then all of a sudden, the girl who checked me out was like, here you go, here's a free drink. And I was like, what? Oh. Thanks. I thought this was my drink and she upgraded it and somehow that she meant that was giving it to me free. Anyway, she gave me a whole free drink. Isn't that so cool? I just, ugh, that made my day. That was so nice of her. I haven't tried it yet because I don't want to go on the tube with two open drinks technically. So I'm going to sit here until I finish most of my lychee one and then throw it out and try the other one. <gasps> I'm literally like in London right now. Isn't that crazy? I'm just sitting at a random church in the middle of Shoreditch in London. Is that crazy? Oh, look at this area, it's so beautiful. This is crazy. I'm gonna remember these moments and literally be like, girl, you were there. I'm gonna be able to tell my kids one day, ew, yeah, but I will be able to. I lived here. For two months, I am living in London for the summer. So grateful. <laughs> so are you going in an hour on stage? Uh, yeah, it starts, the procession starts at 6.55. Yeah. Oh, wow. So they have, like, beaches, German, and then everyone goes through line. Like, we all, everyone says their name. You know what I'm saying? Like, we go up on stage. Uh, uh, live streaming? No, I'm gonna go on it, though, now. Yeah, you should uh, see if you can get on that just to see if it's working. Yeah. You would think they send you a link. They said they were going to, but they no, never sent it. I send it to, I send the thing to her. I think the link is off their Facebook. Oh. We did a presentation last night. It was a lot of fun. Aww. And Annie did the Hunger Games. Class. What what was your presentations? Anna did like startup packs for everyone and then Louie <laughs> did like her favorite celebrities. Like she like merged pictures together. It was really funny. And then Emelina did like us as Disney princesses. Annie showed us like she ranked mascots and how attractive they are on a scale of one to ten, which was very interesting to see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what was your starter pack? Yeah, Anna just like did stuff basically that like resemble us. So like I had like anime and like art stuff and my rat. Cutie. My crying picture. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I would say FaceTime me, but it's already, I forgot it's literally almost midnight here. We can. I'll text you if I'm still up by two and you guys are almost there, then I'll wait. I just have class at 10 and I've barely gotten much sleep, but oh, okay. I can, I can wait. I'll let you guys know. I probably will stay up till two. Like I'm, I'm being dramatic. Basically, there was like this logo that we can't change and it's in a system and turns out I did 99% of it right But the 1% that I didn't do right messed up the whole 99% So um the two and a half hours that I did were for not for nothing because it's a learning experience But like <laughs> so I stayed for an hour and helped her out I only did three because it literally took me forever to do the other ones and I didn't want to make a mistake at all this time So I was extra careful. But yeah, so that happened today. It was only my third day already had that happen, slayed through it though. I didn't cry, I, th I thought I was gonna cry. One of my coworkers who were like training me were was asking me of what my work slash life motto was, right? Because everybody in the job had one and she writes stuff down about all of us. This was before this mishap happened, so of course, I mean, my life motto has always been since the day I was born, a uh, fake it till you make it, right? <laughs> Yeah, it fake, fake it. it till you make it. Yeah, that was very, uh, really not smart for me to say because um, then that happened and then it made it seem like I was just faking it till I made it, but it was a literal sincere mistake. Yeah, that was a very unfortunate timing. Ariana Isabella Carrillo. <laughs> Ariana Isabella was a member of our JV basketball team, the senior play, Beta Club, Spanish National Honor Society. <laughs> Chick-fil-A Leader Academy. Oh my God, are so cute. Ariana Isabella will be attending SCAD, the Savannah College of Art and Design in the Honors College. I feel like the world is literally ending, bro. I don't know why I'm being so dramatic. Like, this is only two months of my life. Editing my sister's grad video. I'm not gonna be there, so I'm making her a little video. And I asked all her friends to like put in um, a video like saying stuff. Ugh, oh, I have so much anxiety. I'm so overwhelmed and I hate when I have anxiety. It's just like the most annoying part of myself that I, I have to deal with that and I hate it. I even hate speaking right now. I'm so depressed right now. I can't get myself to do anything. I have to finish this video. I have to finish.
It's two months of my life. Oh my god, like get over it. Not that deep. Life isn't this deep. It's funny that nobody wants to show this part of being abroad because this is like the most real thing that you ever experience. So, so tell me, baby. Key, me literally telling myself it's okay and like letting myself see the big scoop of things actually really helped. I was a slay. Like I'm like fine now. I don't feel like there's this impending doom, you know? <laughs> My tummy hurts really bad. I don't think I'm gonna go out this next coming weekend. I think I'm gonna like let myself just not do that for a week. But I just get bad FOMO whether I want to admit it or not. I do get FOMO still. I think I'm gonna like keep myself accountable this week and not let myself go out. Not I think. I am and I'm gonna keep myself accountable to it. I'm not gonna miss much if I don't go out for a week. It's fine. I also really have to check. <laughs> How much money I've been spending here because I've been spending so much money. Am I going to put this on the internet? I've been talking for seven minutes. Seven minutes. Like I'm sitting in an apartment in London right now. Okay, I'm about to <laughs> my pants, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I dealt with my business. Anyway, I was thinking because I also got distracted and was on TikTok for... Probably 10 minutes. Such an odd thing <laughs> to, to know that I am quite literally ranting my inner thoughts and feelings to a camera right now with the thought of knowing that I will be editing myself, making this into a video and posting it on the internet. Like it's a really weird out of body experience I think that everybody should experience once in their life but um, until you really understand that this is what people do for their job, it's kind of a weird, in the best way possible, kind of therapeutic actually. This is the fit for today. Going casual. I have two reusable grocery bags because I plan on going intense grocery shopping. I have my headphones so that I can just tune out everybody. <laughs> and this top and these jeans. Oh my gosh, I have to change my shoes. I was about to go out with slippers. I want you to know how I feel. that I didn't get last time, so. I got these two courgettes. There's zucchinis, but they call them courgettes here. Mushrooms, they didn't have eggs again. That was a little sad. I really wanted to get eggs today, but I keep going later in the day, and I think they're just like... Um, I got a bunch of yogurt this time because I saw this raspberry and pomegranate yogurt, and I just couldn't not get it. So I got three of them. They are fat-free. I don't really care if they're fat-free or not. I just like liked the pomegranate and raspberry. And then I also saw this one, strawberry yogurt. It's a different brand, so I wanted to try it out to see which one I like better. I also got hummus and carrots. I also got these. I tried these in Italy and I really liked them and I didn't know that they had them here. And I have this goat cheese, like half of it left that I want to finish up. It's amazing. So I think I'm going to keep buying it and this is probably going to last me the whole time being here. Apples. These said it was crisp, tangy, and sweet and I love all three of those for my apples. So I hope that these are good. Apples sometimes are hit or miss for me. I also got this cheese again, grated mozzarella. The last time I bought this cheese, it was literally molded. So I hope that this isn't molded. I honestly was so scared to buy it. I got prosciutto and then I saw this fresh mozzarella in a bag. I love fresh mozzarella. And then I needed more toilet paper. Not so exciting. That's all. It's my haul. Ah, that's the end of the video, guys. I'm literally editing it right now. I hope you enjoyed. I really enjoyed editing this. So yeah, it was a little difficult to put it together because again, it was just random parts of my three first weeks in London. So this took me a little while to edit and put together, but I am kind of proud of it and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I am still trying to get two videos up this week so this one's coming up today on friday july 28th and then um hopefully you guys will get another one on sunday i have a really exciting creation vlog on its way probably within the next two weeks i just need to catch up on vlogs and stuff but yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys next week or on sunday